Hey y'all, it's CJ with Spoke to Beginnings and today we're going to be going over how to grill a meatloaf on a charcoal grill. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go! We're going to start in the kitchen by frying up some bacon in a pan. Now we're going to cook this bacon but we're not going to fully cook the bacon because this bacon is going to go inside of our meatloaf. Fry up about half a pound of bacon and then place it off to the side. While our bacon is frying, we're going to go ahead and dice an onion. What I like to do is cut around the core of the onion and this way I avoid the watery eyes. I have removed the bacon from the stove but I have left some of the bacon grease within the pan. Here I'm going to saute our onions within the bacon grease. Once they become translucent, I will then remove them from the stove. And add all our ingredients and make our meatloaf. I'll start by chopping up the bacon, which I'll add to the mixing bowl. After adding the bacon and the onion to the mixing bowl, we're going to add some other ingredients. The first one's going to be egg, and then we're going to add some panko breadcrumbs along with garlic powder and onion powder. Add some Worcestershire sauce. Add at least one pound of ground beef. I like to use something that has a little bit of fat in it, so that would be an 80-20 blend. Mix all the ingredients together. You can use the utensils in order to do this, or you can get in there with your hands. After mixing up all the ingredients, we're going to apply olive oil to a grill tray and then form our loaf. Now, if your meatloaf doesn't go together or not, is not sticking together, you can add additional breadcrumbs in order to make the meatloaf come together and stick together a little bit better. Before preparing our meatloaf, we went ahead and prepared our charcoal grill. And we're going to be using a two-zone fire setup again, uh, but we're not going to be using a lot of charcoal. This is going to be a pretty fast cook. We'll go ahead and close the lid to our charcoal grill and then come back in about 30 minutes to check in on the progress. If you like content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll leave a link in the comments to the full recipe. While our meatloaf is on the grill, we'll go ahead and make the glaze. We're going to have brown sugar, ketchup, and either pineapple preserves or apricot preserves, whatever you have available. We'll add all those ingredients into a saucepan and then put them on the stove over medium high heat. This sauce takes probably about like 15 to 20 minutes to come together. Once the sauce starts to bubble, go ahead and lower the heat. You want the sauce to reduce. The consistency that we're looking for is going to be that of our barbecue sauce. This glaze is looking pretty good. I'm going to take this opportunity to check in on our meatloaf. Our meatloaf has been on the grill for probably about like 20 minutes on the indirect side of the grill. I like using this grill tray when I'm grilling meatloaf uh, because I'm easily able to move it from indirect to direct. As far as internal temperature is concerned, I'm going to grill this as if it was a hamburger. So medium would be 140 to 145, medium well would be 150 to 155, and if I was looking for a medium rare, that'd be 130 to 135. It's expected this meatloaf isn't quite ready, so I'm going to go ahead and close the lid, give it another probably about 20 minutes, and then check the progress then. So we're checking the progress of the meatloaf. I was noticing that the thickest part of this meatloaf was cooking a lot slower than the thin part of it. What I'm demonstrating here is how easy I can rotate the meat on this grill tray if you do run into temperature spikes, if you do run into issues with one part of the meat cooking faster than the other. I can just easily rotate this from side to side, left, right, bottom, you name it, I can rotate it. At this point, the meatloaf is right around 120 degrees internal temperature. I decided that was a good time to apply our glaze. That way it has enough time to firm up. And this glaze is going to give this meatloaf just an awesome, sweet and tangy, uh, tenderizingly awesome flavor. We'll go ahead and close the lid and we'll give it probably another 10 to 15 minutes while the glaze sets. In about another 10 minutes, we have reached our internal temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the grill. Just like everything else that we grill or smoke, I'm going to give this a little bit of time to rest before slicing into it. And there you have it. That's how you grill a meatloaf on a charcoal grill. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also check out SmokyBeginnings.com. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.